a rivalry renewed. Look, I mean, this is playoff soccer. It's never going to be pretty. The keys to leg two. We can't allow ourselves to be satisfied with the fact that we gained a lead on the road. And some 2015 milestones. And Luis makes at least one great save a game. All that and much more coming up now on Red Bulls Insider. Hello and welcome to this special MLS Cup Playoffs edition of Red Bulls Insider. I'm Tina Servacio. Last Sunday, the Red Bulls began their quest for the MLS Cup. First stop, leg one of the Eastern Conference semifinals and meeting with their longtime nemesis, DC United. Let's take a look back at this postseason battle between these two Atlantic Cup rivals. We know that when DC comes to town or when we go down there that it's a big rivalry match, that it winds up being very physical, that the game doesn't always settle down much. They obviously had such a great start and middle part of the season and then went through a rough patch. But no matter what, every game, they're dangerous. They've shown that they've gone down so many times this year and they just stick around and manage to claw back in and they have belief and grit in the way that they play. So they, that means they're never out of it. And it, it makes for a very difficult, two-game series, uh, very par it's perilous in many ways because they can they can push hard at any moment and, and punish you. So, uh, big challenge, man. It'll be, uh, I think it's a great matchup for, for both clubs and an exciting time for both clubs, but uh, a really tough matchup for us. Look, I mean, this is playoff soccer. It's never gonna be pretty. We knew it was gonna be a battle. I mean, the field is not great. Uh, we knew that the ball is going to be bumpy, there's going to be a lot of bounces, a lot of second balls, but you know, we just had to match their intensity in their battle, because if we do that, I think we're going to come out on top. Oh, player down in real agony here for the New York Red Bulls, and that's Paranel, the center back. It's really upsetting to see him go down like that. Uh, we don't know what it is yet, but he's been a huge part of what we've been doing. For Zubar to step in there in the last 45 minutes uh, was huge for us. There's a lot of things that we did well. There's some things that you know, we still need to work on. Question now, off the free kick. Plays it in, the header, it's in! It's Dax McCarty. It is the New York Red Bulls one, DC United zero. We work on set pieces a lot. It was a great ball by Sasha. He's been putting in great service all year. I'm glad that it came in a playoff game, big game. Uh, I'm even more happy that we got the shutout. We, Luis has been deserving one for a while now. Obviously, I played for DC, I played for New York, and uh, you know, New York is my club, and, and it's been uh, a great experience here so far this year, and I just wanted to make sure that the, the fans of New York know how much I appreciate them and, and the crest. And that's gonna do it. It's a slow, comfortable kill here on the road for the New York Red Bulls. We're not done. We want to keep going, and uh, you know we want to try to get a win at Red Bull Arena to move on to the next round. I'm joined now by head coach Jesse Marsh. And Jesse, thank you for joining us in such a busy week of preparation. Let's start and go back to leg one of this series against DC United. What did you see from the team in the first 90 minutes of these Eastern Conference semis? Well, we knew that going to DC, we were going to be in for a real physical match, and so. We wanted to make sure that we met that standard and in many ways set that standard and that we didn't back down. Uh, but we also felt uh, that it's important, and we've learned this about ourselves as, we, as we've gone, that when you go on the road, it's not always easy and you can't always gain control of the game by how you play with the ball and by stringing together a bunch of consecutive passes, but that you have to be strong, you have to be physical, and then when you have the ability to get the ball down on the ground and start to put together three, four, five, six pass plays, that that's how you can gain command of the game and that's how you can create chances so for the most part our balance of that on the day was pretty good and it helped us gain an edge and over time I think we were able to take over the match. The team lost a big part of the back line with Damian Perrinell's injury. Where does the depth of the team stand right now and how do you fill that void? Well first you know we felt we all feel really bad for Damian because he's had such a great year and to have this kind of injury at this moment it's just a hard thing for all of us to accept. But, you know, the best way to honor him is by making sure that we continue to push hard and that we win a trophy and we win it partly for him. Um, you know, I, I know that Ronald will be ready to go. So he's had a good year for us. It's just he hasn't always been available, but when he has been, we think he's done a good job. So we're counting on him. And then after that, we've got Carl we met and Roy Miller. And, and all those guys, we've made it clear that now at center back, 
We've got to uh, have everybody ready to go. Both those guys are carrying cards, so it's possible that if we move on, we might miss one of them, but we won't be faced. Just like all year, it hasn't been about who's not been on the field, it's been about who's been on the field. Obviously, getting that road goal was so important coming back to Red Bull Arena. Now, what are you going to be looking for from the team as we look forward to the second leg? Well, most importantly, we can't allow ourselves to be satisfied with the fact that we gained a lead on the road. If you come back and you have a complacency and you think that this, the job is done, you can really slip up and cost yourself. So in every way, we know that finishing the job is going to be even harder than it was in D.C. So we'll be prepared. We'll know that they'll throw everything at us. They're, you know, they've shown that in desperate moments that they respond really well, whether that's within a game or within their season. So we'll be ready for them to throw everything at us. They're still a very talented and dangerous team, but we feel strongly that if we can put the game on our terms like we do, that we'll figure out ways to expand on our lead and take care of business, uh, but it won't be easy. Let's discuss the rivalry. And you were part of the rivalry as a member of DC United in your early days of your career. How does this almost make this matchup even more special in the playoffs, just knowing the deep history between these two clubs? Yeah, there's a few of us that kind of know what it's like from both sides. You know, mine was the early days, but Dax certainly has, has now uh, been a part of it from both sides. I, I learned early on in the first two games we had with DC in the beginning of the year that this was going to be a, an important series for us to understand how to compete in and, and how to match their energy and how to uh, match their physicality. So I think those two games early on in, this, in the year set the tone for what we've become as a team. And you know now when you have these games in the playoffs, they just carry so much weight. They carry emotion, they carry physical aspects, they carry concentration and, and psychology of like what it takes to be a winner in the biggest matches. So that's been, I think, good for us. And it's been fun process for us, but we've got to make sure that in all ways that we're ready to step on the field and know what it takes. And finally, what is your message to the fans that'll be coming to Red Bull Arena on Sunday? Yeah, well, I, I, I think we need all our fans to call their family, their friends, everyone they know, and we need a full stadium. The moments that we have, the New York City games, the energy in the stadium has meant that our team refuses to back down. And so we need to fill every seat in there. We need everybody to be cheering loud, letting, uh, letting our players know how important they are, how much they love them. I, you know, I do believe that our fans have grown to love these players and this team. And it's time for them to now show that on game day and, and help us get that victory. So I expect a full stadium. I won't accept anything less and the energy will be electric. Jesse, thank you and good luck Sunday. Coming up, we take a look back at some of the team's 2015 milestones great to come on and help the team. That's all I really wanted to do. And uh, here now it's a, it's a thousand goals for the club. So it's, it's nice to be part of their history. History making moments coming up next on Red Bulls Insider. You have to fight for everything that you get in this league. For playing time, for respect, to win at this club, that means everything. Having this chip on our shoulder, knowing that every team was going to think that we're going to be a pushover, that the league thinks that we're not going to be good. Naturally, there's going to be this fighting spirit. And so fighting, you know, to represent this club to the best of your ability is something that I'll always take with me. Not only will people see our passion for the game, but our fight. Welcome back. 2015 has been a year of milestones for the New York Red Bulls, culminating with the team's second Supporter Shield victory in three years. Let's reflect at some of the achievements in the club's 20th season in Major League Soccer. It's a retooled, revamped New York Red Bulls. They begin a new era at Red Bull Arena. Yeah, I think we're all really excited. and It's time for us to play a real game. The guys have committed themselves to what's new and to each other. It's a real team already. It's the New York Red Bulls who sweep the season series against New York City. Hashtag New York is red. And who would argue with them? Sasha's been another great addition for us. He adds so much to the team. Every good thing that we do going forward, he's usually part of it. Luis makes at least one great save a game. You know, he's kept us out of a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's brilliant. Great to come on and help the team. That's all I really wanted to do. And it's a thousand goal for the club, so it's, it's nice to be part of their history. And away we go. Red Bulls attack. 
Right off the opening kick, Mike Grella fires and it to flex in! Wow! You know, it's just the way we play. It's a credit to the management. You know, I pressed high and picked off a ball. It's exactly what we want to do. I think that what we're becoming will be tangible. People in the stands will be able to tangibly feel who we are and what we're becoming, which I think is really exciting. And that's all! This season ends with ecstasy and the supporters' shield. The Red Bulls win MLS regular season championship. Off the field, the club has reached record numbers in the community as members of the team have made over 350 appearances around the area this year. As part of the team's many initiatives, the Red Bulls, alongside of Covenant House and Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the team held their second annual sleep out at Red Bull Arena. The event raises awareness for homeless youth. This is a great event tonight. I mean, we're really excited about this. The Red Bulls have really stepped up to respond to homelessness. So this is an important event for our kids. Uh, we think it's important for the Red Bulls, and it's really important for Covenant House as we send a message, not only to our kids, but to our community, that this is an important issue, and the Red Bulls are doing something significant to help. I think it's really important for people to understand, you know, what it's like to sleep on the streets and what, what a lot of people go through and there's a large percentage of people in this country that, that don't have a lot of the privileges that the rest of us have and so any chance we have to really, you know, live in their shoes, experience what they go through, I think it benefits our overall perspective and, and, and then our ability to help them out in any way we can I think is really important. So my family and I are here tonight to, to support this cause. <laughs> Most of our kids, as you know, uh, have lived on the streets in New Jersey, and their greatest poverty not only is money, but also that they're, they're alone, that there's no one with them, and they feel often that no one cares about them. So the Red Bulls and their team are here, I think, in real message to our young people that uh, they're not alone and that people really do care. After I toured some of the facilities, um, some of the homes, it inspired me to want to go out and raise money for them. So I just talked to friends, I emailed friends, I called people I hadn't talked to in a while and told them about the program. And I was shocked at how much money came in. So I think people understood it, it's, a, it's a worthwhile, amazing um, organization. When you have a family, you have your mind wrapped around trying to provide for them as a father. You know, and um, there's a lot of children out there that that don't have a, a, a lot, and so you know we live privileged lifestyles as professional athletes. A lot of times, you know, being a coach, and I and I take that responsibility very seriously as to what it means in this community and and how we can help raise awareness, how we can help provide for our fans, for our community. So for our family, this is a, a, a great experience and a great chance for us to try and help out. Since last year, the sleep out has raised more than $160,000 for homeless youth. That is a great job done by all. Well, that'll do it for this special edition of Red Bulls Insider. It's leg two of the Eastern Conference semifinals coming up this Sunday at Red Bull Arena. Game time is 3 p.m. Now, if you can't be there in person, you can catch the game on ESPN. We leave you this week with images of the supporters marching into RFK Stadium last Sunday. Until next time, I'm Tina Servacio, and I will see you on the next edition of Red Bulls Insider. Take care, everybody.